Welcome to the Armani Talks YouTube channel. I'm your host, Armani Talks. In this channel, I'm helping you level up your communication skills. And in today's episode, I'm gonna give you five different reasons as to why people ramble, plus two different fixes for rambling at the end of the episode. First things first, what exactly is rambling? Rambling is a tendency to speak and speak and speak with very little to show for it. And to give you an analogy, let's imagine that today is Sunday and you are very hungry. You get inside your car and you start driving. You start deciding where you should eat. The only problem is that you didn't decide where you were going to eat before you started driving. So you drive, you see McDonald's, no. Burger King, no. Chick-fil-A, no. Today's Sunday. Fried rice, no. Subs, no. You're driving and driving and driving with very little to show for it. That's rambling 101. Different people ramble for different reasons and it's extremely socially unintelligent to group all ramblers under the same category. We must be able to label them differently so we can make better social decisions. So let's get started off with the first reason someone rambles. Narcissism. Normally when we're picturing ramblers, we're picturing this group of people. Sure, they're a part of the group, but they are not the entire group. When you come across a narcissistic rambler, the first thing you wanna do is not personalize. Because most narcissists, they have a philosophy issue. The philosophy issue comes down to them thinking that everything is about them. And due to thinking this, they have mastered different skill sets. One of the skill sets, uh, to turn a dialogue into a monologue. Another skill set, no matter which topic you are talking about, they will find some way to relate it back to them so they can continue to talk and talk and talk. This is the reason that people ramble, number one. Number two is due to something vastly different, nervousness. Let's imagine that you are someone that loves job interviews. You don't technically love it, but if you go to it, you have confidence that you are going to dominate. But on this particular job interview, you go in and you see 15 people that look like bulldogs, that look like they're about to grill you. Normally, you're extremely confident for job interviews because only one person is interviewing you. But now, with 15 people, you may be nervous. Rather than being a very clear communicator like you normally are, your nerves are causing you to talk and talk and talk. This is reason number two for rambling. Reason number three is very sad, but it's a reality. This is due to loneliness. Let's say you just moved to a brand new location. You don't have any friends in this new location. You don't have any family in this new location. Most likely, you're spending a whole bunch of time by yourself. Eventually, you decide to go to a social event. And in this social event, everything feels off. There seems to be more tension not among others, but within you. You're talking and talking and talking because your social energy has been disrupted. This is due to loneliness. Reason number four for rambling is a case-by-case -case situational basis. Sally, you're normally so quiet, but whenever I get you talking about your job, you're talking and talking and talking. Why do you think this is? The reason for this is because Sally, her job means a lot to her. So for this particular situation, it's causing her to speak more. We normally speak a lot about topics that mean a lot to us, such as passion projects or nostalgic moments. Normally, these people are very clear communicators, but out of the blue moon, they may be talking about a topic which means a lot to them. That's reason number four. And the fifth reason for rambling is due to a lack of knowledge. This group 
either has zero clue that they're rambling, or worse, they think that rambling is a good thing. They think rambling shows how social they are. And you can't really blame this group of people, because we were never taught social interactions growing up. The fundamentals of building a friend, making small talk, public speaking, etc. P.S. That's what this channel is for. So if you're new to this channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button right on below. And that's the five reasons as to why people ramble. Now we want to understand something. Are we currently dealing with rambling? Or are people that we're close with dealing with rambling? Let's manage ourselves first. Let's say we're a rambler. What do we do next? Two options. One option is what I call the 70-30 rule. With the 70-30 rule, you go into different interactions with the intention to listen 70% of the time and speak 30% of the time. This is just a default rule that you can always adjust. So if you enter an interaction and the person that you're speaking with is shy, clearly you could play around with the numbers. But if you set the intention enough times to follow the 70-30 rules, eventually your rambling is going to melt away. And in addition, you're going to value listening more than speaking. All great communicators understand that listening is more important than speaking. It's not even close. And the 70-30 rule will help you unlock that. This is one method to overcome rambling. Another method to overcome rambling is what I call the one syllable game. Your goal is to create meaningful sentences with one syllable words. I went to the park with my dog. Why one syllables, you may be wondering? Because with one syllables, it forces you into the present moment, it gets you active, it gets you engaged into the exercise. And in addition, it gets your brain to learn the art of thinking in very clear, specific patterns. Over time, when you are speaking, your words are going to be much more clarified and simplified in the process. Try to play whenever you're bored, whenever you're driving, whenever you're in the shower, whenever you got nothing to do. Just play one minute a day and you'll notice significant improvements over time. That's for us. Now let's say you're dealing with others who consistently ramble. Do you bring it up or not? Here's my philosophy in regards to this. If I'm not cool with the person, if this is just a networking event where I'm meeting this person, I'll let them behave however they want to behave. I don't care. But if it's someone that I'm close with, I'm going to try to give them awareness and a certain type of way. Because reason number five indicates that a lot of people simply are not aware. So with close people, you could bring it up. And if you do bring it up, uh, try to deliver it in a way where they don't know any better and you're trying to break the news to them for the first time. If it's a stranger, if it's someone that you're meeting for the first time, I wouldn't try to fix it because it's their personality and evolving someone's personality requires a lot of work. You can't fix someone who sees nothing worth fixing. So those are the reasons as to why people ramble. The number one reason people ramble is due to narcissism. Another reason people ramble is due to nervousness. Some people ramble due to loneliness. Other people do it on a situation by situation basis. And some people do it just because they don't know any better. Are you currently rambling? then enter each interaction with the intention to listen 70% of the time and speak 30% or play the one syllable game. And if you see other people rambling, then if they're close, let them know. If they're not close, deuces homie. I got other stuff to think about. You enjoyed today's episode? Learned a thing or two? You wanna learn more about social skills? Well, then be sure to just sign up for my free daily newsletter, which goes out every single day at 7 p.m. EST, where I drop practical insights like this into the world of communication skills, 
how to become a better public speaker, and how to become more charismatic in social interactions. Sign up in the description box right on below or the pinned comment. And thank you for joining the Armani Talks YouTube channel.